As a teacher, the internet is an important component for you when creating teaching materials. Other teachers have posted great examples, images and texts online that are very useful to you and that you are welcome to use too. In short, you download them and incorporate them into your new learning material. And of course, you publish it yourself on the internet for others. A good thing? Yes, with usually only one serious problem, copyright law. Even apparently free documents on the internet are subject to this in accordance with the regulations in the respective country. Even in Europe, this can quickly become unmanageable as the question inevitably arises as to which country's regulations apply to you. In German-speaking countries, one thing would be clear. Even apparently freely accessible materials are subject to copyright protection and cannot be used without further information. If you don't have any specific information about further use, you could only use the citation option. Here, however, the transfer is limited to typical citation length. In short, it will be complicated and ultimately expensive, as imprisonment and fines are possible. One way to handle teaching and learning materials in a legally secure manner is through so-called open educational resources. Open means free of charge, freely usable, can be printed and copied, in many cases, it can also be changed, i.e. editable, and last but not least, it can be published again. In addition, some authors also understand by open that open source software is used, open standards are used, and forms of open learning are also supported. In order for all of this to be possible, there needs to be appropriate regulation by the people who created the work. But so that this doesn't always have to be regulated bilaterally in writing, there is the possibility of regulating this generally for everyone who uses the resource by means of a license want to use. Now I mentioned at the beginning that every country has its own legal regulations and even in Europe we are far from having a uniform copyright law. So contracts are needed that allow materials to be used freely. Such contracts are also called licenses. It is a great step forward that some people have taken on this task of developing such globally valid licenses that allow open use. The most widely used licenses of this type worldwide are the Creative Commons licenses with a special focus on documents, texts, videos, and also teaching and learning materials. Open educational resources are educational resources that are made available under open licenses. Public domain resources are also included. In many European countries, resources are in the public domain if the people who created the work have been dead for a very long time usually over 70 years. Open educational resources and open licenses are therefore the answer to the strict and different copyright regulations so that everyone can use educational resources. So what are the arguments for open educational resources? They are 100% free. They are accessible as free of charge and there is no cost to use them. Open licenses make the terms of use clear to everyone. Open educational resources can be easily created and edited by many encouraging new forms of collaboration. Open educational resources are usually current or can be updated because adjustments can be made by anyone. Open educational resources ensure equal opportunities because they are accessible to everyone and therefore also provide many other development opportunities and inclusion. Open educational resources are usually innovative and modern as they mostly work with new technologies. After all, open educational resources can be different a textbook, a presentation, but also an image, a video, a learning object. Regardless of whether they are traditionally analog or innovatively digital, open educational resources simply know no boundaries.